Beneath the gaze of Trump Tower in Washington, D.C., they came in huge numbers. Protesters from across the country gathered as part of a nationwide movement to draw attention to issues on climate change, race relations and the economy. The occasion, 100 days into the Trump presidency, was highly symbolic, and organizers say this is grassroots politics at its best. We've had a week of activities, over 100 activities happening just before the march, 45 buses from labor unions coming into town, um, and like just to see the power and the energy, and that we want and know people are going to go back and do the organizing work at home that is so critical. These fishermen spent three days sailing from Connecticut to add their voices to a growing chorus concerned not just about the environment, but jobs too. Usually climate change is perceived as an environmental issue, you know, bears, birds, bees, but we see it as an economic issue. The protest comes as the Trump administration continues to roll back environmental regulations while giving the go-ahead for controversial oil pipelines, moves that are of deep concern for many here. I would like to tell him that greed will not save you. We are, we're going to be here, and it might not be me, but my people and all the people around here will be here to remind him that the earth comes first. Organizers say this march is not about making immediate demands, but more about bringing together a wide coalition of groups with various concerns. And you can see the big numbers that have turned out here today, they seem to be doing that. But they also say this movement is not going anywhere anytime soon. Washington is by now used to marches on this scale, and it would be hard for the president not to hear what these people have to say. Whether he listens or not is an entirely different matter. Andy Gallagher, Al Washington.